Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shy, but you can call me Shadowcat as the channel name suggests. And today we're watching Arcane. Hello. All right, this is a show that I am so stoked to get into. I do not know much about it, but I do know that people really, really, really enjoyed it. I have had uh, a few people who have recommended it to me, and I think that every single thing that I've read about this series has been overwhelmingly positive. I'm hoping that that does not color my perception of the show. Like, I hope that I'm not going into it with too high of expectations. Um, but yeah, I don't think that I've read a single negative thing about it. All I know going into it truly is that it's an animated show and that it is based off of uh, League of Legends. I've never played League of Legends. I don't really understand League of Legends. I think that I've seen like, I'm pretty sure League of Legends is one of those games that people play at like tournaments and stuff like that. So I think that I've seen like some gameplay of it, but I never know what the fuck is happening. So I'm hoping that my lack of knowledge about League of Legends isn't an issue for this show. I googled it and people said that it shouldn't be, so that's what I'm going off of. I'm very, 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 very excited to be starting this today. I've been wanting to get into it for a little while now. If you know me in real life, you would know that I'm a huge fan of animation. I have a lot of appreciation for animators and for voice actors. Um, I don't feel like they get their dues nearly enough, so this being an animated show already uh, puts it in a, at an advantage for me and I'm just excited to learn what the story is all about. I think that this first season is quite short. I'm pretty sure it only has around nine episodes so I'm sure we're going to breeze right through it. Uh, I don't think it has a second season but I think a second season might be in the works so if I end up enjoying it maybe I'll react to that as well whenever the hell that comes around. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's start at the beginning and get into episode one. Before we get into the episode, though, we will be ahead on Patreon. I'm not too sure at this moment in time how ahead we will be. It might just be like a week or two. We'll see. I'll put it on the screen somewhere, but I also have my uncut reactions to these episodes if that is also something that you are interested in you can find me at patreon.com slash shadowcat reacts but without further ado let's get into it i mean already the animation looks gorgeous <laughs> Oh gosh, I love animation. I love how stylistic you can make it. Truly, like I don't mean to shit on live action, but nothing does it for me like animation does. Good animation, I should say. Aww. Are these like siblings maybe? Oof. <sighs> he almost looks like regretful that he has to see this. Who is that? Who is that? Is it like their mom or something? Oh man. This is a gorgeous show. Hmm. Is he gonna try to exact his revenge one day? Wow. Interesting opener. Yeah, the animation team I don't wanna I don't wanna keep talking about the animation, but they should be so proud. I wonder what the conflict is about. Hey, Powder! Come take a look. Powder? Oh. One day, 
I'm gonna ride in one of those things. And one day, <laughs> I'm gonna shoot one of them down. <laughs> All right, everybody, follow me. Just don't look down. Oof. <laughs> Couldn't we have at least just walked there? Gotta stay out of sight for this one. What are they trying to do? Powder, look at me. What did I tell you? That I'm ready. So? I wonder how old they are now. Ooh. Mm. Oh my god. Thanks. <laughs> what if Vandra finds out we're all the way up here? Look around you. You think anyone topside's going hungry? Besides, this is exactly the sort of job Vander would have pulled when he was our age. Topside? What does that mean? Vander's gonna kill us. Yeah, only if we screw up. <laughs> so don't screw up. <laughs> I'm so curious about this world. Uh, who locks their balcony? <laughs> I lock my balcony these days only because my cat has learned how to open the screen door, you know? So now I gotta lock it. <laughs> Seeing as I'm the only one who knows how to pick locks, I suggest. <laughs> well, that was efficient. Looks like your lock picking skills are not needed here. Oof, I feel like stealing these things is probably gonna have consequences. They seem to be taking a lot. Must be an I think this is a real Valdiani. A Valdiani? Oh yeah? What about this? That's a nose hair trimmer. <laughs> it's a pretty cool looking nose hair trimmer, to be fair. Wait, why? How the hell did we find this place? It was a tip from Little Man. Little Man? Little Man? Just leave it. Who? Come on. Why do I feel like the guy's gonna come home while they're still here? <laughs> uh, I really love the way that they animate things. I like the way that they animate the hair. The food looks really great. I'm really impressed. Oh my god. Jackpot. It feels... I don't know. I'm nervous about it, though. <gasps> Milo! Ooh. How do we gotta go? <gasps> oh my god. It'll be fine. Just get back on the roof. What is it doing? I don't know if you should have something that deadly just lying around. But I guess he probably assumed nobody was going to break into his apartment, which is a fair assumption, but still. Right there. Okay, so they. I think Vi is the person's name. She was saying how nobody topside is going to starve or something like that. So I wonder if this is kind of like a Final Fantasy VII, like Midgard type thing, where it's like the rich people live on top and like the poor people live below. I don't know. Maybe I'm taking it too literally. Oh! Sucks for you. Anyway. Ooh. Man, not again. I just got this shirt! <laughs> oh, that would suck. Oh, that would suck. I guess you gotta do what you gotta do when the situation calls for it. 
thought last time was the last time we were gonna do this. <laughs> well, this time's the last time. Mm, doubt it. We just emptied a Piltover penthouse right under the Enforcer's noses. So, if the you're done beating heads. yourselves up, let's get this home. Oof. It's very, like, dark here. I heard there was some action across the river. Someone, uh, someone really kicked the nest, huh? Is that so? There's no reason this has to get ugly. How about you share a little taste of your trick? Give them, give them one of the blue things. Just a taste? Just a taste. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Ouch. Ooh. Ooh. They're making these look pretty brutal. Like, you're seeing all the blood and everything. I feel like in a lot of, like, animated action series, they're pretty... Mmm. They don't get too graphic with it. Not that this is extremely graphic or anything like that, but I don't think that they're shying away from the realities of like what happens when you get in a fight. Oh. Oh. This is brutal. Like I feel like someone's about to die. God. Damn it, that's brutal. This day's turning out all right after all. Wait. Oh, sh Wanna see how that ends? She's brave, man. He could have just went pow. <laughs> Seriously, use one of the blue things that you stole. Come on, Mauser. I need you. Oh my god, I didn't realize it was a dead end. Damn. That sucks. Are they gonna be pissed off at her for doing that? That sucks. You did what? I'm yeah. sorry. It's alright, powder. I mean how how deep is the ocean or the lake or whatever? I get my face bashed in and she just gets a pass? Yep. <laughs> Whoa. That's cool. Who told you Whoa. 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 I'm so fascinated by this universe. Wow, I like the color palette, the greens. This is... <laughs> I'm really enjoying this so far. Like, not a, not a lot has happened so far, but the animation is doing a lot of heavy lifting. I just, just it's just really stunning to look at. Suppose that concludes our business then. <laughs> I suppose it does. And uh, this <laughs> isn't what we agreed on, so. Well, the demand for your wares has dropped since we made our arrangements. We shook on it. <laughs> <laughs> A shake is not much. <laughs> Make your choice. Her eyes are trippy. Send it to me, like. Piss off. <laughs> wow, her eyes are so interesting. I think I know what you need. A bit of advice. Don't threaten the guy who pours the drinks. <laughs> so you're Vander. Vander. Okay, this is the guy that was at the beginning of the episode, right? Welcome to the lanes. 
Vander learns none of this. No worries there. Mm, I mean, he's gonna learn something. Look at your guys' faces. I don't suppose you can explain why it is that I'm hearing about an explosion and a foot chase, Top Dog? <laughs> Four children fleeing oh. the scene. <laughs> so much for he learns nothing. We got our own tip, planned a route, nobody even saw. You blew up a building. <laughs> Where did you even get this tip? We just heard it at Benzo's shop. From? Little man. Oh. I took us there. Who's little man? He seems like he has like a not great reputation. We mm. stay out of Piltover's business. Why? They've got plenty while we're down here scraping together coins. When did you get so comfortable living in someone else's shadow? Mm, maybe just touch too far. Those kids look up to you. Yeah, I know. When people look up to you, you don't get to be selfish. I'm you not... say run, they run. You say swim, they dive in. You say light a fire, mm -hmm. they show up with oil. Yeah, that's a lot Whatever of power. Happens, it's on you. With great power comes great responsibility. We make ourselves a problem for Piltover, and they will send the enforcers. So, mm. why answer to them? That path, this, it's not going to solve your problems. How'd you get this? He was after the stuff. Where is it now? The bottom of the we ocean. lost it. <laughs> or a lake or whatever the hell that body of water was. Nothing can tie you to what happened up there. You're going to have to lay yeah. low for a bit. We're going to be fine, right? Uh, this is episode one, so... Not sure. <laughs> you did put that idiot on his ass, though, right? <laughs> I'm gonna have a little word with your informant. All right, give me the details. Of with little man, I'm so curious, like what everybody's relationship to each other is. I don't know if I would bring that inside after I just saw the destruction it caused. She made a mistake. Name one time she has. She's young. Mm. Don't bullshit me. You were twice the person at half her age. You're right. There's a bunch of things Powder just can't do. You don't have to tell me twice. Mm. I feel like, like that was gonna. About everything. What? And brag nonstop. Okay, okay. I see where this is going. Yeah, it fights with the yeah. group when we need to focus. I was about to say, I feel like she left way too soon. Because it's not going to be what she thinks it is. You see this look on my face? This will always mean it's time to shut up. But I... Why well, do I feel like Powder's going to do something really drastic to like prove themselves? Like, I'm nervous. Nobody comes in. We're closed. Since she thinks that, like, nobody thinks that she can do anything. Ooh. Give me a few seconds. The kid and Pinion's still busted. Finish it later. Vonda and I need a word. But... Oh, no. Off you go. <laughs> Won't have numbers until it's done. Why are you mucking about with this? I assume you've heard. Yeah, me and half the Undercity. Mm. How could they be so stupid? The younger folk think it's the right thing to do. Yeah. And Vi is one of them. Throws herself at trouble wherever she can find some. Mm. Yeah. There's worse things than enforcers out there. Quiet. We both know that. How did you find that place? I Whoa! Just... Oh, so this, this is Little Man? She showed me a couple of moves to practice. Look! <laughs> yeah, it's, it's coming along. Hey, so how'd you find that place anyway? Uh, this weirdo came into the shop, bought a whole bunch of stuff Benzo only keeps there for display. He paid in gold and didn't even haggle. Uh, I charged him double price. <laughs> Sucker. Interesting. How did you know where he lived? Uh, followed him? How else? Oh, right. Interesting. I wonder who that guy is. I feel like he's going to be important to the story. Well, hello. <laughs> Something I can help you with? Some trench or trash attacked one of the buildings in the Academy District. But you already knew that. It's exactly who you're picturing in that thick head of yours. You think my head is thick? Uh, <laughs> just past the average. Listen, you shady son. Your head of hair is thick. 
I wonder what those masks are for. You know this across the line upstairs. Was um, anyone hurt? A building was belonging to So she to a double agent? What do you think? Those who did this will be dealt with. That workshop belonged to the Kermans. The who? You know what kind of stuff they had in there? The Kermans? The council needs someone to make an example of. People need to feel safe. Yeah. You keep your people off my street, and I stay out of your business. Mm, so, okay. No one will know you were involved. I can't do that. If I don't put someone behind bars tonight, the next time I come down here, I'll have an army of invoices with me. We both know how that'll go. I'm sorry, Grace, but I can't offer up my own people. If you change your mind, this will reach me. And only me. What are you calling this one? Mm. Whisker. Aw, I feel bad for her. I ruined everything. I always do. I'm not a fighter. You don't have to be. I've got these. And you've got those. They never work. They will. I feel like they're gonna work at a very opportune time. I hope at least. That's where Clagger got his foot stuck running from enforcers. Milo tripped over his own paint bucket and nearly fell off trying to draw a giant middle finger. <laughs> His ass made that splotch. <laughs> when I was a kid, some guy took my favorite toy and threw it up there. I used to come out here at night and stare at it. Aww. We've all had bad days. But we learn. These were in my pocket. They're from the apartment. What are they? Wait, know. she doesn't know that it was th those... That blew everything up. Right. She wouldn't know that. This is our little secret. Milo's wrong, Powder. You're stronger than you think. And one day, this city's gonna respect us. Oh my gosh. That cat. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they're underwater. You were supposed to follow them and not interfere. Now his accomplice is asking questions about you. That's not a risk I'm willing to take. What? Get him a meal. <gasps> but keep him off the streets. Oh my, what is, what is, what is, what is, what is, what is, what? It's almost ready. What the hell is happening here? Wait, what is that? Are they meant to kill their cat? Do you have a subject in my? Oh my God. Zero motion. Someone just volunteered. <laughs> wow. Okay. Guys, that was a really great first episode. Uh, I feel like they did a really fantastic job in setting up who the characters are. I, I was saying how I'm a little bit confused by how all of the characters relate to one another, specifically uh, like Vi and Powder and uh, Milo and the other guy whose name I don't think I caught. Uh, but I think that they did a fantastic job in illustrating what their dynamic is. Like, I don't know if Powder and Vi are actually related in any way. I have no idea. From that first scene, it almost seemed like Vi's like parent was murdered and it seemed like Powder was comforting her. So that makes me think that they're maybe not like blood relatives. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But their relationship is obviously very, very, very sibling-esque. Um, I'm wondering if it's just like maybe these kids are just orphans they just don't have parents or something like that i don't know i'm sure the more that i watch the show the more i'm going to understand that 
but I thought that they did a really great job in just like plopping you into this world and letting you see the way that the characters interact so you can sort of like get an idea of whose allegiance is with who and like who has the most sway and who doesn't have any sway at all. I think that they established all of that very, 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 very well. I also think that they established the world or at the very least like the city very well. You know, you have um, these streets that seem to be controlled by certain people. You have the top side, which is like, I guess, where all the rich people live. Um, the person that they stole from, I'm not sure what that lady was saying, but she said something like it was like, he's like a Kerman or something. I don't know if I heard that properly. I don't know what that means, but it leads me to believe that this is going to be a character who we're actually going to meet and who is actually important. And the reason, I mean, he, the character is obviously very important because they're not going to let this one go. Um, and, and I'm under the impression that like in most of these heists, if something happens, they sort of just go, eh, whatever. They probably don't love it, but they don't feel the same sense of like needing to get justice for it. So whoever they stole from is definitely going to be a prominent character, I think. I'm very, very curious to meet them. I'm wondering, I just I just have so many questions about who that's going to end up being. And finally, uh, the animation is just, wow, stunning. I feel like in the last few years, animation has had a little bit of a renaissance. I think that it is a medium that unfortunately is not always taken too seriously. I think that a lot of people look at animation as though it's a child's medium where I've always had a tremendous amount of respect for it because there's so much talent that goes into it and I'm so like envious of people who are able to create something that looks so fucking stunning like that. It just feels great for animation to for animation to feel like it's being creative again. I felt like, you know, we got lost in that very Pixar, Disneyfied CGI look that was really, 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 really popular for years. It's still very, very popular, but like kind of started for me at least to feel a little bit soulless because it was like every studio was trying to copy every other studio. And so there was nothing. I mean, even though, you know, Disney and Pixar, like the movies look great. Technically, they are great achievements. There was nothing... Uh, I don't know how to say this without, there was nothing really to marvel at anymore because it just looked so samey and nobody was like actually doing anything stylistic with the animation. And I'm not blaming the animators here at all because they, you know, are hired to do a job and these studios have it in their heads that like they have a certain style of how you're supposed to do their animation. So I'm not talking shit about the animators. I just feel like um, a lot of companies don't give their creators enough room to be creative. And it looks like with this show, there was a lot of room to be creative with it. And I really, really, really love that. It's just, it looks so great. And I hope, I hope that shows like this um, inspire more shows, more animated shows to come out and to be different and to try new things and to not skimp on the animation aspect of it. I thought that this looked absolutely fantastic. This is just a visually stunning show. Even if this, even if the story wasn't interesting whatsoever, I, I feel like I would still be entertained by it just because of how amazing it looks. So yeah, I'm having a great time watching this so far. I have a lot of questions. I don't fully understand what's happening, which is, I think, by design. Um, but it does make me very, very curious to learn. So thank you guys so much for watching this one with me today. And I will see you guys next week with more Arcane. So until then, take care. Bye.